This is Twit. Signal just, I love this. Uh, Moxie Marlin Spike, I love you, Moxie Marlin Spike. He says he got a hold of the Celebrite phone cracking tool. It fell off a truck, <laughs> he says. And he hacked it. And it turns out, according to Moxie Marlin Spike, Celebrite software, this is the device that law enforcement buys at great expense so that they can suck the data out of your phone. Border Patrol has it. Lots of people have it. Moxie says... This software has atrocious security that can easily be manipulated in a variety of terrifying ways. We were surprised, he writes, to find that very little care seems to have been given to Celebrate's own software security. Industry standard exploit mitigation defenses are missing, and many opportunities for exploitation are present. Until Celebrate is able to accurately repair all vulnerabilities in its software with high confidence... The only remedy a Celebrite user has is not to scan devices. He says, because of security flaws, so this is what I want. You could, you could put software on your phone that would rewrite the data being collected by the tool. Uh, so you could insert, remove text, email, photos, contacts, files, any data... No detectable timestamp changes. No checksum failures. They don't check. It's yep. possible to execute arbitrary code on a Celebrite machine just by including a specially formatted but otherwise innocuous file in any app on a device that then is plugged in and scanned. So I want that. I Whatever it. that is, give me that. Yep. Yep. The biggest karma this, boost this, of the week. Isn't it great? It's just, of course. <laughs> Of course. No, I don't think is, there's any response from Celebrite. They don't like to use it. Well, uh, is Celebrite the one that they use to crack the uh, San Bernardino iPhone? No, actually, we just learned that that was a, a, another company. A, that an, I, Australian an Australian guy. company. Yeah we, yeah, we thought it was Israeli. That that was actually an interesting article. I don't know where I read it, but they, they sort of patched together three or four different, um, what are they called, Exploits. Hacks, but yeah. exploits, yeah. yeah, to find a way in. So you remember, this is the uh, the San Bernardino uh, uh, terrorist. Uh, they got, he had several phones. There was one iPhone, and the FBI sued Apple saying, you've got to, you've got to back patch. Actually, what, what the FBI really wanted, this was all a pretext, was for Apple to provide them with a backdoor to all smartphones, to all right. Apple phones. And Apple said, quite rightly, we're not going to do that. That would compromise every user's security. We're not going to give you that. And then the FBI dropped the suit suddenly saying, oh, uh, we figured it out. Never never mind. Mm -hmm. And it, and now we've learned a couple of years later, right, um, yeah. that it was this Australian company. Nobody, I don't, I'd never heard of them. And anybody, uh, you ever but heard of them? They were using that and, back end from that company. They, they'd licensed it from that company that Apple was suing that I'm blanking on the name. Oh, that's right. The em emulator company. Yeah, that's right. They're, they're not going to use it for anyone I, evil. And then Apple's like, well, what about that? Apple got curious and said, well, well, then who are you selling it to? And are they using it for anything evil? And they're uh, like, uh, we don't know. And then they're like, but it's it, we only sell it to democratic governments. And like, but that's not synonymous with not being evil. Right. Oh, gosh, we know that. Yeah, because ultimately, Apple doesn't want the exploit to go to anybody but Apple because ultimately it's not so much who's using the exploit, but that other people have have maybe found that exploit that have no intention of telling anybody about it. And the only way you can close them is from people who will disclose them. So Azimuth is the Australian company they used, yes. but you're saying they got the, uh, they one of the ch exploits in the chain they got from a company that Apple had sued and lost because they made emulators yes. for uh, the iPhone. Right? And you're right. But I also remember. it turns out licenses out this stuff. Yeah. To, to maybe ultimately, ultimately, it was brute force that, that did it, but they needed several exploits to get that close. Yeah, the reason the FBI couldn't unlock it is because it had that security turned on where if you entered the code more than 10 times, it would erase the phone. Right. Right. Uh, and so and what Apple, they, App, Apple never did know until this lawsuit that right. this was how it happened. Right. They, didn't, they weren't even in on it. Very on interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, you learn things in lawsuits... You didn't know. For instance, that's how we learned that Apple will never make iMessages for Android. That was due to the Apple Epic lawsuit and discovery in that. That's the risk of these lawsuits. Is sometimes discovery reveals 
reviews. Although a lot of the stuff they're discovering on seems like it's so old. It's like a decade old emails. Like, yeah. who knows? Like, a lot of stuff is like, it was Steve Jobs' emails. Like, that doesn't apply yeah. anymore. Yeah. Maybe Steve had the idea to do that. Well, everybody yeah. always assumed that it was um, that it was that green color that you know drives iPhone users crazy when they're communicating with an Android device. And sure enough, in those emails, it was the user uh, it was the user interface that was part of the lock in, and they conceded that. And the kind of the thing that everybody knew all along was confirmed by uh, this discovery. Yeah. So it wasn't so celebrated. As a user, I want to know the difference between blue and green because blue is secured it's it's end-to-end -end encrypted and green isn't because it's just using sms but like a workaround is to let everybody subscribe for two bucks to get a gold bubble and the ability to redact messages <laughs> i mean just make it worth our while i want a gold bubble <laughs> oh what's interesting is on, on the mac at least i, I i'm not sure how it is on the iphone um but that that green color is the color of the messages app icon it's not you yeah. know it's it's not blue it's green so that's kind of like the native color for the app hmm. and and what is blue the native color for facebook so are they web apps safari and uh things like that green yeah is yeah, and yeah so is uh, so messages is is indeed green on uh on the iphone right so right yeah the green and blue apps